In this tutorial, we will talk about theme and header options in Impeka. These options affect all your website, and some of these are rewritable per page, post, and portfolio item. Let's make a brief overview of theme options, including header, top bar, bottom, and footer. In theme and header options, you will find theme, layout, and header layout. What you choose in these options will determine the below options. Selecting a header layout can give different menu options. For example, with the off canvas header layout, you will have these available options to choose from for your menu. So you will get even more different header layouts. Also, you define sizes, sticky header type, and uh, basic menu options. Last, you can pick which uh, menu elements you need and their options. Next, you will see background options. You can add a theme and uh, content, background image or color. In logos, you should set the logos for all different headers. You also have the option to use uh, a logo as text, add a custom link or replace the admin logo. Here you can enable the top bar area and choose elements for left area or right area, depending what you need. In uh, responsive options, firstly you can change the responsive header threshold. For example, if you have many menu elements and they don't fit in all screen sizes, you might need to activate the responsive header on larger screens, so you just increase the pixels here. Also you will find spacing options, responsive header overlapping, header layout, logo options and useful menu options like menu icon. You can actually design from scratch your responsive header and menu no matter how you have designed your header. Bottom and footer areas here you can choose if you need your bottom area to be sticky, have shadow, and set the area item you want to use for the bottom bar area. You will find more information in another tutorial too. Also you can display footer widgets which is the classic WordPress uh, way. And footer bar. Add the copyright text. Or a second footer area. Next is save button options, 
and here you define the area item you will use in the save button and its icon. We have uh, more details in the relevant tutorial. In Page Transitions tab, you can enable Page Transition and Theme Spinner. You choose the spinner you prefer or you can even upload your own. Last, Style Options will take you to Customizer. You will find all color options there. We have another tutorial for this section too. These were the most important options on theme and header. Thank you.